you going, guys? Doing all right? Awesome. Awesome. Awesome work. I love it. Love the enthusiasm. Awesome. <clears throat> well, welcome to tonight at NBC. I'm your host, Jackson. Thank you so much for coming. Let's hear it. Great night. Great night ahead of us. I can't wait to get into it now. Like, this is our new thing. We're trying to revamp. If you guys, maybe some of you guys remember the couch. Any fans of the couch out there? <laughs> couch fans in the crowd. I'm glad to say that the catch is revamping itself. It's now tonight at NBC. Hopefully we get to have heaps of fun. I'm going to be hosting. We're going to be doing this once a term. And we're going to be doing these different segments called Meet the Leader. Okay, every time we do tonight at NBC, I'm going to do a segment called Meet the Leader. So why don't we kick it off with doing Meet the Leader right away. And let's welcome out our first guest leader, Luke Field. <laughs> Doing alright? That's alright. Take a seat, brother. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, this is Luke, everyone. He's going to be our first guest for the Meet the Leader segment. Uh, how are you feeling? Feeling great. Feeling good? Yeah. That's good. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, before we even get into any of this, one of the things that we're going to be doing when we play, uh, well, when we do Meet the Leader is we're going to play a game, um, and it's going to be like this test sort of a game. We're going to be tracking our scores on the scoreboard here. Uh, this particular game, Luke got four. He's at the top of the leaderboard. Brett got three. I come a strong score with one. Coming in a strong last. Thank you. Well done. Strong Good score job. of one. Okay, the aim of this game is if you look to your right, Ooh. There is a basketball ring up there. Now, the idea is to get in as many objects into the basketball ring in 30 seconds. Now, I'm going to get Luke to bring out a box of items. Excellent. And we're going to get a timer on the screen in a second. Finchie, are you ready? Luke, do you understand the rules of the game? Yes. Okay, are you ready to play? I'm, I'm ready. All right, guys. Now, I need you to help count him oh. in. He's got 30 seconds. Ooh, 30 seconds to do it. Finchie, when you're ready, let's get it going. Oh, wait a second. Wait a oh. second. Oh. So, hey, Four, three, two, one. Let's go, Luke. Come on, brother. Come on, Luke. You got this. Has he got one yet? Come on, Luke. You got this, brother. The teddy bear. Let's go for another bear. Oh, he's gone for a strong spell. Come on. This is good. This is good. I got you. Got this. Thirty seconds. Oh, ten seconds. Come on. You got this. What's he gonna get? Three, two, one! <laughs> Sorry, the time out. Wow. Sorry to say, Luke. Wow. Uh, take a seat, brother. You can relax. You did happen to get a strong score of zero coming in behind me. Give him a round of applause. I'm gonna write the score up now. Luke F with a strong zero. Excellent work. Luke, do you want to Top just pin that on the board for me in the right position, yeah, no if worries. you don't mind, no please? Worries. So we're just going to get on with the show. Excellent. Just, yeah, that's yep. right. At, no, at the uh, bottom. Oh. At the bottom, please. Just, yeah, oh, under, underneath me. No, no, yep, underneath yep. me. Excellent. Just there. You got, yep, good, let me good. hold this for you. Yeah, you got I, got it? It. I got it. You got that? Yeah. Excellent. So we're just going to be keeping track of all the scores every time we get up a uh, Meet the Leader. We might even start doing some segments with Meet the Kids. I don't know if you guys want that. Would you guys want that? Meet the Kids? Hey, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so at the moment, this is where our leaderboard stands. Luke, you Solid. Plays, plays pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's get into some questions. We're going to interview Luke, see if we can learn a bit about him. Obviously, this is his first year leading. So I'm going to start out with an easy question. Hopefully, you get this one right. Yep. What is your name? Full name. Full name. My name is Luke Edward Field. Luke Edward Field. Excellent. Uh, Luke, who do you lead? I, I lead the year 12 boys. Ah, the Mighty Dolphins. The Dolphins. Yes. Excellent. Uh, what do you do during the week? I uh, work as a physio. Physio, excellent. Uh, how many rings, this is a crazy one, how many rings before you answer the phone? Oh, probably at least three. At least three. Yeah, keep them guessing for a while. Don't want to come on too strong. No, no. no. Excellent. Definitely. Okay, what do you currently keep under your bed? Under my bed? At the moment I've got some guitar cases. Excellent, plays guitar. Ladies, she's taken, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what is your favourite sport to play? Favourite sport? Definitely not basketball from yeah, that. Shame. Um, Strong zero. I play, <laughs> I play soccer um, during the winter, yep. would be my favourite sport, and then in summer I enjoy cricket. Cricket, excellent. Yep. Okay, what made you become a, youth, a, a leader here at youth? Yeah, pretty much Luke was like, you have to be a leader. It forced <laughs> me to do it. Forced you in. 
Um, Twisted but, your arm? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, excellent. But I enjoy hanging out with you guys on a Friday night. Um, yeah, playing lots of games um, and seeing you guys grow. And um, yeah, I think it's really amazing to see you guys um, with your relationship with God and see that grow and change as well, which is really encouraging. Excellent. And last question. Can you tell us of a time where you've really seen God work through your life? Yeah, so there's a number of times that God's worked through my life in various different ways. Um, but I think when I finished school, I, I always wanted to do physiotherapy, but didn't have the marks to do it. Uh, so I went through a different way, did a different degree, and then yep. um, God kind of directed me to keep going with that, that vision. And um, he kind of yeah, provided an opportunity to do mm. physiotherapy. And then once I was... Um, finished with uni, I had a list of all these places I could work, and I could have ended up being sent to the country somewhere, and God um, sh- like provided the opportunity to work at Bankstown, which is awesome. So it's really awesome to see him at work. All right, thank- let's give Luke a round of applause. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, it's been it's, it's, it's so good of you to come and, and uh, do an interview with us like that. We got to meet Luke. Uh, I hope you guys know a bit about him. And as you see him at youth group, that you get to use that information, become closer friends with him maybe because he's actually a really nice guy. So before you go, Luke, I do want to play one more game. This one happens to be my favorite. I think you're a perfect candidate for this game. It's called the telephone game. I'm going to bring a telephone out right now. Now, let me tell you right now, kids, this is a telephone. It does make calls. If you've never seen one before, just trust me. It makes just a little dial pad just like this. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now, this game works like this. Okay, Luke. Yep. I'm going to read out a scenario for you. Okay. Okay. I'll read a scenario. The phone will then happen to ring, and you need to answer the phone and respond to that scenario. What do you think, guys? Yep. Good. Do you reckon you can play? Give it a go. All right. Excellent. Here we go. The first scenario for you, Luke, is you are a female physiotherapist. (laughs) And your patient calls you claiming she has a dislocated heart. Do you have any helpful exercises? Interesting. Uh, wait, oh, three, three, remember. Yep. That's two. two. Hello? <laughs> yes? You did what? With your heart? I think you should come to the hospital. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well done, Luke. Fantastic work. Excellent. Uh, I can't make you do that without joining in myself. Oh, wow. Now, I'll let you read the scenario for me, and we'll see how we go. Okay. So, NASA is called, looking for a replacement astronaut. You leave tomorrow at three. Great. Okay. Good luck. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a two. Oh, two. I'm a two. Hello, Jackson Keith Buckley speaking on the phone. Who is this? NASA. NASA. (coughs) NASA. NASA. How are you, NASA? Yes. (laughs) Yeah. No, totally. No, I'm just chilling. (laughs) Yeah, I'm free, I suppose. You know, uh, replacement. I was on the waiting list as a casual astronaut. Yeah, I was on the waiting (laughs) list. I can... Yeah, three... Tomorrow, let me just pencil that in. You'll have to call my uh, receptionist as well. Uh, no, no, the, uh, the, the astronaut monkey that I said I had on my resume was just a lie, yeah. No, I can't bring it. Three, yep, I'll be there. Thank you, thank you, NASA. Bye, love you. Well done. Yeah. All right, one more, did you do one more? One more, you okay, stick around for one? okay, one more. All right, uh, second scenario. Your mum calls. Oh, no. She's, cr- she's crying. Oh. She says dinner was stolen and needs your help. Okay. Oh, yep, three. <laughs> yep. yep, come on. Hello, it's Luke. Mum? What? What do you mean the dinner's stolen? What? Have you checked with Dad? I swear he's eaten it. <laughs> so what do you want me to do? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So you want me to pick, 
Pick up food. Yep. Okay. I'll pick up some of that, that astronaut <laughs> roadkill. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Point. Oh, well done. Let's give a round of applause to Luke. Hey, Luke. Thank you. Let's, get, let's say Luke. goodbye to Luke as he joins us. Thanks for having me. Come around, brother. See you, you later. Oh, uh, well, too funny. Way too funny. Uh, big props to Luke. Big, big props to Luke. He was our first Meet the Leader, and he was an excellent guest, don't you think? Fantastic guest. All right, guys. Um, just before we move on with the show, I want to quickly reflect on the, uh, the term we've had. It's been a good term. You guys reckon it's been a good term? You're enjoying yourself? It is the last week of youth, I'm sorry to say. Let me hear it. Oh, yeah, sorry. Last week of youth. But as we reflect, also last week, what was it last week? Can anyone tell me? Last week. Not at youth, just last week in general. Easter, right? And we've been looking at Easter and in our pods, and in our pods, we've been looking at the Easter story as well. Now, looking at this Easter story, we're going to be continuing to look into it tonight in pods. And more specifically, we're going to be looking at a man called Pontius Pilate. Now, luckily, with my connections here at tonight at NBC, I was able to pull a couple of strings. And we've been able to invite the next guest as Mr. Pontius Pilate. Why don't you welcome him on in? Yes. Wow. Hey, bro. How are you? Hey. Pilot, good to see you. Thanks, I'm good. Wow, there we go. Excellent work. Oh, wow, now, good to be here. Yeah. Tonight, NBC. Exciting, yeah. right? Thank you for coming. I know you travelled a long way to Australia. Yeah, yeah, I took an Uber, actually. It was pretty good. Took yeah. An Uber. yeah, excellent. Like, took they're, an Uber. they're pretty good service, yeah, anyway. Uber through time and space. Yeah, yeah, international Uber. Uh, space, do, you yeah, know Uber, Uber. do you know the Uber driver, Matt Harris? Oh, I, I've heard of him. I, I, there you go. I, I know. I know. He's I've a leader here. I've got right? a mate who's an Uber. Yeah, he's actually yeah, here. An Uber driver. So, anyway, glad you could join us. Thank you for coming onto the show. Now, We've got you onto the show because um, we're looking at the, the prosecution of Jesus, or basically when, when Jesus was sentenced to death. Yeah. Now, I believe my sources have told me that you had quite a big hand in sending Jesus to die. I did. Really big hand. Right. So basically, my first question for you, Pontius, was what happened when Jesus was brought to you? Well, he was brought to me because there was all these accusations about him and I needed to clear up, I needed to clear the air. So I had to ask him if these accusations were true. Right. And these yeah. accusations that were brought against Jesus were? He claimed to be the king of the Jews. And apparently to the Jews, this was like a big thing. Like you, it's something you just, you can't say. And if you do say something like that, it's highly punishable. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. And so this highly punishable crime that Jesus supposedly committed, did you find him guilty of that crime? Look, he, could really, he wouldn't give me a straight answer. I asked him, I said, are you the king of the Jews? Do you claim to be the king of the Jews? And all he said was, you say that I am. I, I asked you a question. He didn't really answer the question, so I didn't really know, right? But the Jews, they were furious. They were angry. And I didn't know who this guy was. Apparently he was from Bethlehem, some small town somewhere. I'm not going to like... I'm not going to trust this guy. I'm going to trust the Jews. I know the Jews. Right. So you didn't really know if he was guilty or not. So why didn't you just release him? Yeah, look, I wanted to release him. I actually really did. Because, you know, every year at the festival, we release one criminal, right? And so I put to the Jews to release Jesus. And you know what they said? Release Barabbas. I'm like, Jesus is right here. Let's release him. So... Yeah, I wanted to, but the Jews, they wanted Barabbas instead. But wasn't Barabbas like a, a well-known criminal? Like, why would the people want to release Barabbas? Yeah, he was a criminal. He was a murderer. But like, I, th I think apparently to the Jews, they saw him saying, I am the king of the Jews is just as bad as murdering someone. And look, I, I wanted to release Jesus. I didn't know if he was guilty or not, but the people, man, they, they demanded for his blood. They wanted to kill, kill him. I wanted to save him. But... You know, that's kind of how it goes. I'm not really proud of that, but it's what I did. So I suppose yeah. it really comes down to the pressure that you were under yeah. to make the decision that people wanted you to make. It's hard being governor. Wow. There you go. Well, I really appreciate you coming on the show, giving us that insider opinion. No worries. Please, why don't you thank Pontius Pilate for joining us on the show. Thanks, mate. Thanks, bro. Next time. Excellent work. Okay, guys. Well... That's all we have for tonight at NBC. I'm so glad that you can join me for the first time we hosted the show. Why don't you uh, give it up and we're going to say goodbye, guys. See you later. Thank you so much.